Akwaba Ikabo. Welcome to the Temple of Enyame's virtual Sunday service. The philosophy and teachings of the Temple of Enyame are that the great I am that I am, Onyankumpo, the solar logos, judges us by what is in our hearts. Consequently, the temple teaches as part of its philosophy that we must always keep our intentions noble, correct, pure, and in the loving best interests of all created life. There are three pillars upon which the foundation of the temple rests and from which lessons are taught. They are spiritual initiation and unfolding, rites of passage, birth, puberty, marriage, and death, and liberation theology, the application of religion to contemporary social issues and problems. So, Good morning. I am Nana Kwabna Brown. I am the founder and chief elder of the Temple of Yemea of Washington, D.C. And I welcome you today to our Sunday morning service. We are talking today about elders and eldership. And we also will talk about some reflections, some ceremonies that pertain to death. And this is how we cover our, our presentation, our religious, spiritual presentation, on rites of passage. We started out discussing birth. From there, we talked about puberty and then marriage. And we started eldership. I think we started eldership about three weeks ago. And we do this with the understanding that African culture and African religion are the same. They're not separate institutions. And though we may do rites of passage, we do rites of passage with a spiritual influence a spiritual intent, one that is involved with evolving and uplifting our level of consciousness. And I leave that with you, and I want you to really to think about that. And so, um, as we talked about eldership last week, uh, we'll do that again, we'll pick it up again this week, and then we'll talk about some, some reflections, some thoughts about death and ceremonies for death. So what I want to do as I start out today, what I want to do, I want to start out with a song that we sing uh, invoking God. Today is a, incidentally is a holy day for us. It's called Kwesi Ade or Kwesi Adai. It's the holy uh, 40th Sunday. And we'll be doing some things here that you won't be able to see, unfortunately. Uh, we do them outside, in which we do prayers and offerings to uh, not only God Almighty, but also to uh, the Abbasum and the Rishas. Not only God Almighty, but also to the next level, which is the ancestors. And then after the ancestors to the deities, the Abbasum and the Arisha. So that's what we'll be doing today. So I want to start you out with a song, which is a call to prayer. And the call to prayer is saying, uh, God's festival day, God's Sabbath day, everyone should come and pray to God. And I ask you to come, pray with me, pray along with me, that we may connect with God and bring forth our best selves. This we pray, amen. <clears throat> In your may afashe, in your may home a da, in your may three woe, Munina Mumra, in your may afashe, in your may home a da. In Yame Three Wo Munya Mumra In Yame Afashe God's Festival Day In Yame Homeda God's Sabbath Day In Yame Three Wo God is calling you God is calling me Munya all of us should come and pray to God In Yame Afashe in your may home it in your may free wo mumra mumra okay what i'm going to do i'm going to follow that with some of our songs from our Af african-american ancestry and ancestors um that they're calling god's spirit they're calling the spirit of light and life and upliftment this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Whoa, this little light of mine, 
I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. For you and me. I'm going to let it shine. Whoa. For you and me. I'm going to let it shine. For you and me. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And in the spirit of our ancestors who overcame and faced so many obstacles and opposition, couldn't vote. When they could legally vote, it was in fear of endangering their lives. But who still overcame, who still marched towards freedom, and whose prayer has really helped us to be where we are today. We need only to listen to their prayers and listen to their songs and march forward and be active and do something with it. This we pray. <clears throat> whoa, oh freedom. Whoa, freedom. Whoa, freedom over me. And before I'll be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave. And go home to my Lord and be free. Whoa, freedom. Whoa, freedom. Whoa, freedom over me. And before I'll be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave. And go home to my Lord and be free. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, walking my way towards freedom. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, walking to the promised land. So let us remember our ancestors walked on foot from South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, all the way up to upstate New York and Canada, determined to be free, determined to eventually get their freedom and their citizenship, and to vote to bring about justice, fairness, and equality within America. So let's hold on to that. Okay, the next song that I'm going to sing um, is uh, a song that... Uh, that uh, really gives honor to um, our, our ancestors. And uh, I want you just to, to listen to it. We're going to sing that song, and then we're going to pour libation. And the song really is one that uh, um, it gives acknowledgement to our African ancestors. It's Woliwa. Woliwa, egungun, Woliwa. Wole wa e gungun wole wa Wole wa e gungun wole wa Oh wole wa e gungun wole wa e gungun wole wa Wole wa e gungun wole wa Wole wa e gungun wole wa Oh wole wa We sing that song because it's an invitation to the ancestors the egungun to come into our lives, that we should have a place for them within our homes. I have a beautiful ancestral altar over to my left, which you can't see right now. And I have it there because I want my mother, my father, my brother, my cousins, my grandparents, all those who have gone into the spiritual world. I want them to know that I have a place for them within my house, an altar for them. And I invite them to be in my house and in my home and to guide me and influence me in a good way. After God Almighty, the most important thing that we can ever do is pray to our ancestors. So th what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to uh, pour a libation. And uh, I want you to watch. I can't really show you all that I want to show you, but we'll work out a way of doing that next time around. Because I want you to see how I pour the libation. You've seen it before, for those who've been on our broadcast before. And I want you to see how we do it. What we do... It's what is done within Africa, what was done by our ancestors, and it's still done by our brothers and sisters throughout the diaspora as we offer prayers to God Almighty. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, it's a little bit awkward, but we'll make it work. Okay. All right, what I have here, I have my opon, also called Vosa, which we use for um, uh, calling Ifa, also known as Afa, also known as Fa. And you see it's round, it can be round, it can be square, it can be rectangular. And it really represents the world, the universe, that's what it does. And uh, we will use this as our, with our prayer to God. And at the top of most, most, most uh, opponents of Vosa, are a face that represents or is a legba. For it is a legba and the dwarfs that take our prayers to God and take our prayers to the other deities. Okay, I have an egg. An egg is pure. It's without taint. It's without sin. And so we offer this to Almighty God. I present it to the four cardinal points. One, two, three, four. I put it on the opponent. We'll make an arrangement next week so you can actually see me as I do it on the floor. But we'll do this right here uh, now. And I want you to watch what I do. I relax myself, I've made my offering, and now I purify it. I use a shred, or sometimes you might use powdered white eggshells. Go around once as an offering, twice as an offering, three times as an offering, four times, five times. six times and seven the number of completion and I put some on top of the egg to purify it almighty God humbly I your servant Quabner Brown none of Quabner William Brown I offer this to you I give it to you from my heart my soul my spirit and I ask as I pray to you, Almighty God, that you shall hear my words and that you shall bless me and bless all those who are part of this of this broadcast, all those who are part of this prayer this morning. This coming to you, Almighty God, coming to you for wisdom and for guidance within life. May we, Almighty God, may we turn our eyes and our ears and our thoughts to you. And may we keep our mind open to be guided by you, to move forward, to do your work on planet Earth, that we shall be your instruments. Almighty God, I raise my hand up to you. I take my hat off in respect, my glasses off in respect. And I say, Ago. And your reply is, Ame. Ago. Ago. On Yankapon Kwame Trinapon in Sa. Asa say Ya in Sa, Mother Earth. We call our ancestors, we call our family ancestors. We call our mother's line, our father's line. We call our community ancestors. And of course, above all, we must remember Dr. Francis Press Wilson, Dr. Patricia Newton, all those who have left, Brother R.J. Okoto, all those who have left who have been such wonderful guides in life and in their space and place as ancestors continue to guide and bless us. We call all of our ancestors, all our historical ancestors, we call Banguela from Brazil. We call Mama Nanny from Jamaica. We call Harriet Tubman from America. Open up our village, open up our souls, our spirits, that you guide us, guide us, guide us, that we have your intrepidness, that we have your bravery, that we have your unity, that we have your devotion and belief in you, that you will guide us. Let us move without fear for justice and peace upon the planet. And we ask, we ask that you shall bless us with health. We call Nana Sergebi from Ghana. We call uh, Babaluaye from uh, Togo, Benin and Nigeria, from Cuba and Puerto Rico, from Brazil and from Trinidad. Babaluaye, we call you, we call you, we call you. Come and bless us, lift us up, help us to know the right things to do 
to maintain health and heal. We thank you, Almighty God. We thank you, ancestors and deities, that you gave us a victory in the last presidential election. Guide those who are there, Ms. Harris, Mrs. Harris, and Mr. Biden. Guide them that they know what to say and what to do. We ask that you work through them for peace and justice upon the planet. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for being involved and giving us the victory. So bless us, bless all members of our family, bless our leaders, that they shall remain strong. Special blessings to Baba Zulu. Special blessings to uh, Nana uh, Abba Opari. Blessed, blessed blessings to Baba Lumumba. Blessed members of Nana Buachi. Blessed members, blessings to all of those who are leaders within our community. Keep them strong. This we pray. Now I say, Enti and so, Jinamachi, stand behind our backs. No Yedawasi. And we thank you, the God whose name is Amen. All right. Okay. So, um, by all means, um, uh, do what I did the way I did it. Do it without any fear or doubt. The most important prayer is a prayer that you sincerely, that you sincerely uh, state. The prayer that you most sincerely say from your heart. That's the prayer that counts. All right. Okay, put this on the floor. Okay, at this time, we're going to sing some songs to the Abbasum and the Orisha. And God created them to serve us. I know many of you all wonder um, if that could possibly be true. Yes, why else would God create them? God created us, you and I, to emulate God, to find our souls, our spirits, to God, the great God Almighty that's inside of ourselves. God created us to actualize that within the physical flesh and to perfect the spirit contained in flesh that when we turn back to God in heaven that we are exactly one with God Almighty in her male and female aspects. That's our mission in life, to become with our higher soul and spirit, to do good, to do no harm, to love, to forgive, and bring about social change. You know, Zion, the word Zion means God's kingdom on earth. So whatever language we use, that is why God sent us here. He created the deities to help us in that process. So let's sing some songs to them. Pa, fui, pa, fui, pa, pa, fui. Yo kuse, yo daje, men kortinim wu, men kortinim wu. And this song is for Adade Kofi the god of iron, also known as Tunsuo Kofi, also known as Voodoo Ade. In Ghana, uh, also known as, uh, well, I said Voodoo Ade, Tunsuo Kofi, Adade Kofi. And uh, uh, in uh, Benin, is known as, Ogu, as Gu. In Haiti, is known as Ogu. In, in Nigeria, is known as Ogu, the god of iron, the God of justice and the God of warfare. And we need him now at this particular time that we can keep things going the right direction for freedom and justice within America. Okay. I said I said the beginning part and I'll do it again. Pa fee. Pa, you would respond fee. Pa fee. Yo ku se yo daje men courtini woo men courtini woo. Why ya? Yo ku se yo daje. Men courting him, men courting him, why are our genus so jai, our fair family, may genus so may genus so jai, our fair family, men courting him, you could say your daddy, men courting him, men courting him, why are you could say your daddy, men courting him, men courting him, why are our genus so jai, our fair family. Okay. Pa, we, pa, we. Daddy, a better more. Daddy, a better me, Fabwa. Daddy, a better more. Daddy, a better me, you say. Yay. Daddy, a better me, Maja. Yay. 
Daddy, you better more. Daddy, you better me for a boy. Daddy, you better more. Daddy, you better me for a boy. Daddy, you better more. Daddy, you better me, oh, say, yeah. Daddy, you better me, my joy, yeah. Daddy, you better more. Daddy, you better me for a boy. Daddy, you better more. <clears throat> so Adade Kofi, the god of iron. The god of iron um, in Benin is Gu. In Nigeria is Ogun. In Haiti is Ogu. Ogu in Haiti. Gu in Benin. Ogun in Nigeria. Again, the god of iron, the god of warfare, the god of justice. And when I say the god of justice, uh, I mean that we fight when we have to fight. When fighting has, is no need for it, then we seek peace and harmony. The nature of African religion and spirituality is harmony. The nature is harmony. And sometimes we have to fight to reestablish harmony. That's the reality of it. Okay. So we sing to the God of Iron's uh, aspect as found in Nigeria, as Ogun. And we call Ogun to compass that we shall... Uh, always know when to fight, how to fight, and then we may have victory. Agunde arere, ile bobo aguna e, aguna nile aguna lona, ile bobo aguna e, agunde arere, ile bobo aguna e. Aguna nile, aguna lona, ile bobo guna ye. Remember, it is important to know how to fight. It is even more important to know when to fight. It is also important to know how to find balance and peace in life when there's no need for fighting, no need for aggression. That we come back to balance, harmony, and peace. We pray to the gods of iron, the gods of warfare for that. This we pray, amen. Okay, what I'm going to do at this time, um, um, and I want you all to, to be very aware of the Abbasum, the Arisha, and uh, to realize that they are words which mean the same thing. So there's no such thing as African religions with an S on it. No more than is, uh, there are Catholics with an S on it. The Catholic Church is one. It has its manifestations in Italy. It has its manifestations in Greece. It has its manifestations in Ethiopia, as the Ethiopian Church. It has its manifestations in South America. But it still is considered to be one Christianity and one church. The same thing with African religion. There are many, many expressions of it, but there's only one African religion. And it, it, it balances on and is based upon belief, faith, and trust in God. Belief, faith, and trust in the ancestors. Belief, faith, and trust in the Abbasum, the Arisha, the deities, the angels, the Netaru, whatever, whatever term you want to use. But the belief in those forces that God created to help and bless us and move us forward. This we pray, amen. Okay, so what we're going to do at this time, um, we're going to do, uh, uh, do a, a, the prayer to our ancestors. And this is so very, very, very important, this prayer. Because after God, it's the ancestors that we must give honor to. All right, I'm going to say it very, very slowly. Divine ancestors who oversee the involvement of our race. We acknowledge and salute you as highly evolved ancestors and masters who once walked the earth. We pray that you will make contact with us through our deities and holy people and thereby lead us to the way that God wishes to follow. Amen. So with that being said and with that being sung, I want to, uh, I want to bring a, a song or two from our, our ancestors here in North America. Well, I say North America, but in the Americas, which would be North America, South America, Central America, and the West Indies, and the beautiful song that they have brought, which we must really take a look at. So here's an ancestral song, 
And the one that you are probably very familiar with, my ancestors prayed for me. Well, we started out as my mother prayed for me. And so we'll do, uh, we'll do, we'll, we'll start with our, my ancestors prayed for me and we'll slip in my mother prayed for me, my father prayed for me. And something that I'm gonna ask you to do, I want you to go to your mom or your dad if they're still with us. And I want you to ask them to make time to say a prayer for you. The blessing of your mother and your father is a very, very powerful one. If they lay their hand on your head or on your shoulder as they're praying for you, you are truly, truly blessed. Okay, so we're going to start this by saying my ancestors prayed for me because that's why we are where we are right now with the uh, this webcam and Zoom and all the stuff that we've got here. You know, we're here and we're able to use it because of their prayers and how they have promoted us within life. <clears throat> my ancestors prayed for me. They had me on their mind. They took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed for me. Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman prayed for me. She had me on her mind. She took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed for me. Mama Nanny from Jamaica. Mama Nanny prayed for me. She had me on her mind. She took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed for me. Fannie Lou Hamer, Fannie Lou Hamer prayed for me. She had me on her mind. She took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed for me. The last one, Brother Malcolm, the Hajj Alik Shabazz. Brother Malcolm prayed for me. He had me on his mind. He took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad he prayed. I'm so glad he prayed. I'm so glad he prayed for me. And we're going to come back to how we got here. My mother prayed for me. She had me on her mind. She took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed for me. Hallelujah. Ashe Amen. Now we have Brother Jabari. He's going to sing uh, Negro National Anthem. Lift every voice and sing to our national ancestors. Greetings, everyone. My name is Jabari Yarbrough. And will you please join me in singing Lift Every Voice and Sing? Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies Let it resound loud as the rolling sea Sing the song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day. Be 
on. Let us march on till victory is won. Thank you. At this point, what we're going to do, again, giving thanks to our ancestors for all that they've given us, our beloved ancestors who came here as unpaid for labor. Notice I don't use the word slave, unpaid for labor. We get thanks for how they have brought their concept and their belief and their perspective on God to those of us in the West. So at this time, we're going to do our universal prayer to God Almighty. And I want us to really think about the different words that are here and let this be our, our guide, our map. Um, what, what leads us in life that we can live life in a way that is correct and right. I want you to repeat after me. Mother, Father, God, who exists on the Lagoy plane, from whom and from which emanate the word, the sound creative universe, holy are all the names by which the many children call you. Thy kingdom is the whole universe, and thy spirit is contained in everything. We ask that consciousness of you, your spirit, and your kingdom shall be given unto us. Help us to maintain, our, our, help us to turn our minds against negativities. We ask that you, Almighty God, shall bless us. You are the source of all life in the universe. We are your children, creating your spiritual image and likeness. And we affirm oneness with you. Om. Assume way, Amen. Okay, so we ask you that uh, I ask that you bear with me. I I uh, did a little quick on the prayer, but I hope that you got the essence of the prayer, the essence of the prayer. And we ask Almighty God that you shall bless us in the recitation of this your holy words. And may we above all things, may we above all things, be close to you, in mind, soul, body, and spirit. And may we indeed do your will here on planet Earth. This we pray. Amen. Okay, and now we're going to do the prayer to Arumala. And Arumala um, is uh, the person um, who God gave um, the knowledge of Ifa. Ifa is both a spirit and a system. It is a spirit that exists within the cosmos, and it is a system of divination, a system of um, a system of uh, being able to see the past, the present, and the future, of being able to know what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. And we give honor to that. So I want you to repeat after me. And I want you, above all things, as I mentioned last week, um, seek out a priest of Arumala or Ifa. We ask that you shall... Um, seek out the 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 Akonfos with the Abasum, the Omarisha have the, the Orisha, and I ask you to do that that you can find your pathway into the universe, into the cosmos, to find out what it is you should be doing and how you should be doing it, and why things are happening within your life. Okay. Quasi? Yes, yeah, I misplaced one of my sheets of paper here. Yeah, see if you can find a room or not. Look at turn the back, see a room or Oh, a room or not. yeah, okay. All right. Here we are, a room or not. Witness of fate. Second to God, Olu Dumare. A room or not is seen and understood and believed to be second only to God Almighty. All other spirits believed to be underneath of him. Thou art far more efficacious than medicine. Thou the immense orbit that averts the day of death. My Lord Almighty to save. To thee salutation is first due in the morning. Thou equal in that adjust world forces. Thou the one whose exertion it is to reconstruct the creature of bad luck, re repair of ill luck. The one who knows thee becomes immortal. Lord, the undeposable king, perfect in the house of wisdom. My Lord, infinite in knowledge, for that knowing thee in full, we are futile. 
Oh, if we could know thee in full, all would be well with us. Ashe, amen, ashe. So we give thanks to Almighty God uh, for the blessings of this uh, recitation. And uh, with this time, what I want to do, I want to give you a song for Ifa. It is very, very easy. And I want you to listen to it. And I want you to sing it with me as I sing it the second or third time. Neo ye, Neo ye arumalaye, Neo ye, Neo ye arumalaye, Neo ye, oh ye, oh ye arumalaye, Arumalaye, Neo ye, Neo ye arumalaye. Neo ye, neo ye arumalaye, neo ye, oh ye, oh ye arumalaye, arumalaye. So I want you to, uh, I want you to uh, remember the hymn, remember the song, uh, sing it from your heart, sing it from your soul. Connect with Afa, also known as Ifa, also known as Fa. Connect that you shall have your intuition, your your intuition and your instincts heightened, that you shall be closer to your soul and spirit, and that you shall receive the guidance that you need to know what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. We ask your room to bless us in a good way. This we pray. Amen. Okay, what we're going to do at this time. Um, we're going to do, uh, take our medicine, and I ask you all um, to do your very, very best to get some prayer beads. Get some prayer beads. Carry them with you. I call my prayer beads my lifeline. They are my lifeline. They will take me back to uh, God Almighty. I'm going to do something just a little bit different today, a little bit different. And uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, Usually I do, uh, the first one that I do is Inyame Bechereme. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then uh, when I finish doing that, I'm going to uh, just let our, our meditation, our prayer be on the names of God. And that is very, very important because the names and words for God are found around the world. Well, uh, what came from somebody's mouth, soul, and spirit when they encountered the Holy Spirit. Okay, we're going to start with Inyame Bechereme. We're going to do 30 of those, and then we're going to finish it up uh, with with uh, just saying, Inyame Bechereme. When you don't know what to do or how to do, ask God to show you. Okay, I want you to inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. I want you to inhale and hold it and begin. In your may be chair to me, 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 in your may be chair to me. In your maybe chair to me, 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 in your maybe chair to me. In your may be chair to me. In your may be chair to me. God will show you. God will show you. I want you to count off seven beads. And in these seven beads, we're simply going to chant the name for God. In your may. And we're going to do this way. I'm going to inhale. And I'm going to begin as follows. In Yame. We're going to do that seven times. I want you to inhale. Well, 
I want you to count off your beats first. Count off seven. I want you to inhale. Hold it in again. In Yame. In Yame. In Yame. Inhale with me. Inhale. And begin. In Yame. Inhale. In Yame. Inhale again. In Yame. One more time. In Yame. Stay in the presence of Almighty God, the presence of the power and the power of the presence. Relax and hold on to that feeling that I know that you have. I know you're feeling a spirit, an energy, a vibration in your heart and inside your body, in your soul and your spirit. Hold on to it. Then pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for your community. Pray for the world. Pray for peace and pray for justice. And when you finish, say Amen. And I will time it and I'll come back and say Amen Ra. Okay, Amen Ra. Almighty God, be coy by your whole oldest known appellation from ancient Kemet to modern day. And we ask, Almighty God, that you shall assist us and hold on to this energy, this vibration that we feel now. And may we put it to work in healing ourselves, healing our family, healing our community, and healing the world. This we pray. Amen. All right. So at this time, what we're going to do at this point now is that uh, we're going to take our offering. And uh, I just want to let you know that we're having a little problem with our, our um, cash app. I don't know quite what's going on with it. Um, however, you can still make your donation. We will do our best to get it straight by next week. Before next week, not by next week, before next week. Um, and we ask you to, uh, to go to our, our, our PayPal which is Inyama, N-Y-A-M-A, Healing Services. Inyama Healing Services. That's the, uh, the PayPal account. And make sure you put a tag on it. And the tag that goes on it is for the Temple of Inyama. And we'll do our very best to get this straightened out for you next week. And we ask that you, uh, at this time, uh, simply take your money I want you to put it in your hand. Prayer posture. I want you to inhale with me. And exhale. We're going to do it three times. It's the second time. And as you exhale, visualize the energy coming down through your hand into the money. It's the second time coming up here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. And repeat after me. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I give and all that I receive. Again, one more time. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I give and all that I receive. All right. Now I'm going to say it as a chant now. I'm going to chant it. I want you to inhale. Hold it. 
and try to follow along with me. Divine love to me blesses and multiplies all that I give and all that I receive. Mm. Divine love to me blesses and multiplies all that I give and all that I receive. Mm. One more time. Divine love to me blesses and multiplies all that I give and all that I receive. Mm. Take your money. Touch your third eye. Touch your heart. Touch your third eye. Touch your heart. One more time. Touch your third eye and your heart. And slowly go around here three times. Once. Twice. Three times. And put it into your virtual basket. And uh, as I said, unfortunately, the cash app is not working right now. We're not, not sure quite wrong what's wrong with it. We'll keep working on it. But well, you can send it to Inyama Healing Services. That's our, that's our PayPal account. And make sure you tag it for the Temple of Inyama. I mentioned to you last week that we were a 501c3 organization. I don't have your addresses. I don't have your phone numbers. And I would like to match up your records with our records here. We have records here. But our records are not connected to addresses and phone numbers. And we want you to get credit for all that you're doing to support us throughout the year as a 501c3 tax exempt organization. So I ask you, please send me your names and your phone numbers and your email addresses. I promise to keep them confidential, private, and secure. But I do need them to be able to um, uh, give you the information that you need for your, uh, your 2020 tax filing. So I'm asking you to do that. So by all means, uh, send that to me, and uh, you can send it to uh, uh, kwabanabrown1 at gmail.com, kwabanabrown1, K-W-A-B-E-N-A, brown1 at gmail.com, or you can also send it to uh, Inyama Healing Services, that's my private uh, 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 place, place that I have on the internet. So you can send it to uh, Yama Healing Services or simply um, uh, uh, send it to uh, kwabnerbrown1 at gmail.com. Okay, send it information. Listen, November is almost over. December is almost here. And by all means, we want to really honor the support you've been giving us throughout the year. Okay? You need your name and your phone numbers and your uh, uh, email addresses. And I will keep them secure and confidential. Okay? All right. And of course, I'm going to match them against our records that we have here of money that we received in. Okay, so thanks so much. So I want to just thank you so much for the support you've given us throughout the year. Um, you can support us even on 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 days that are not Sunday. I mean, that's perfectly uh, uh, all right and perfectly appreciated. There are many things that we want to purchase to enhance our uh, temple presentation on Sundays, and uh, you will get acknowledgement. And uh, by all means, credit for all that you donate to us. And we'll make sure that um, we'll match what you donate against our records and allow you to, by all means, to get your taxes at the end of the year as you help us. Okay. Um, we are uh, talking today about, and we're going to finish it up. Let me see how much time we have. Not a lot of time. Uh, I beg your permission. I'm probably going to go about a little bit over time, but not much, not much. Um, well, uh, today we we are on the, the last, pretty much the last of our presentations. We're going to finish up um, eldership and talk a little bit about ceremonies for death, and uh, we will com we will continue this conversation in two weeks' time. Next week is our healing meditation service. I ask you next week to come with your healing needs. I ask that you come. Um, with the things that you need to, to address on a spiritual level for healing of mind, soul, body, and spirit. And I ask, of course, that you, if you have prayer beads, that you buy all the, well, have these with you next week. And if you have a prayer rub, to have it also. Okay. All right. We have some, uh, we have some Odoos and we have some uh, Adinkras. We're going to show those up front. We're going to show them up front. And uh, by all means, uh, um, let's see, I hope I have my copies of them. Crazy, come here just a second. Look in the back here. Look there. 
Let me get the back of the overdue is ridiculous. All right. Uh, One of the uh, dinkers that dinkers that we have um, it should be sum sum, and uh, sum sum is a soul, and uh, we we present that we present that because um, it's very very important that as we talk about eldership that we realize that eldership. Is that moving towards spirituality? You can bring all the dinkra here. Okay. Just, bring, just take all the dinkra out. Yeah. And uh, we know it's about spirituality. That's what it's about. So I'm going to let you just read them yourself. You'll see them on your screen. The adinkra. And then after the adinkra, the odu. And then after you have read that, I will go ahead after that, I will bring the, 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 the presentation for today. Okay, so I want you to be aware that you have your sacred scriptures, and we we pick out the uh, the Odu, we pick out the Adinkra that can inspire you and lift you up. By all means, God has given you a corpus, a body of information and literature and inspiration for you through the sacred Adinkra and through the Holy Odu. And I ask you yourself to really take time to really, really seek out this information. The Adinkra book, book that we use is by Bruce Willis. And the, uh, the Odu Ifa book that we use is by, by Dr. Mylana Karinga. By all means, please apprise us of this information and let it be the guide, the codification by which you live your life. All right, so we're gonna finish up very quickly. Uh, our conversation about uh, eldership. And um, eldership really is a process of stages of initiation. We know, of course, that the first initiation is the one that we receive at birth, the naming ceremony. Then we receive further ones at our puberty rites ceremonies. Then, of course, it is expected that people will become a part of a family, our marriage ceremonies. And of course, the one that we've been talking about is that of eldership. I just want to mention a few things about initiations, and I want you to keep this in mind. It's very, very important information as you begin to look into any religious tradition and its, and its initiations, be it African, Hindu, Buddhist, Catholic, i.e. Christian, whatever it is, you're going to find these steps, and I want you to pay close attention to them. The various steps in every initiation are birth, baptism, transfiguration, and resurrection. The basic steps that take place in initiation are isolation, being taken out of your home environment, your community environment, intensification, where you are given intensive knowledge and information 
in which you have to pass certain tests that show that you have mastery over your chakras, your mind, your soul, your spirit, that you're able to operate from the heart chakra. Many of us, myself included, we operate quite a bit from the root chakra, which deals mostly with I and me. And the heart chakra deals with we and us. It's where I strive to be and why I say the universal prayer regularly and why I pray on a daily basis. So uh, initiation, all processes begin with first isolation, a period of intensification, and a period of reincorporation into the community. The basic things that you'll experience in initiations are birth, birth into a new understanding of yourself, baptism, a receiving of the power, transfiguration of your soul and your personality becoming closer together, and resurrection, where you realize that you are divine and you are internal. The higher levels of understanding that we must begin to, un, uh, to be aware of in terms of, of, of eldership is that, first of all, that uh, we must be aware of the importance of self, family, community, culture, God, the ancestors, the spirits, cooperation, and communalism. That's where the head of the ancestor is. The head of the ancestor is never into I and me. It's never into estrangement without forgiveness and reconciliation. Never. The ancestor always seeks to be one with God, one with his or her own spirit, soul. One with a sense of uh, community, communication, and forgiveness. This is what I seek within my life. I'm 76. I hope God will give me many, many more years so I can begin to rise to that particular level. Ancestors are imbued with wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge plus experience. It is seeking the knowledge, understanding the knowledge, and applying it to life and seeing how it works. And that is how we become wise. That we can read the sacred Odu Ifa, we can read the Adinkra, we can begin to understand Odu very, very well. However, we must be able to apply it to our lives. Now, one of the most painful things in life is catching hell. Things not working right. You know, things your, your best plan is not working. Um, unhappiness, divorces, separations, estrangements. Lack of funds. I mean, so many different things. But it is in these particular circumstances in life that we apply the 42 Prince of Ma'at, the Inguza Saba, the principles of African spirituality, the Adinkra, and the Odu Ifa. We apply this information to the experiences that we have in life, and this is how we grow. That is, as I said before, knowledge plus experience equals wisdom. So I'm on that road, and I pray to you all who are on that road also, be strong, be firm, be determined. You know, if you run into a, a difficulty, a challenge, um, simply do, in your maybe chair to me, God will show me. Relax and listen as you move on the road towards eldership. It's important for us to, uh, who are here in America to, to, uh, to take advantage of the concept of into, the four difference of ma'at, the primacy of spirit, all these things, we must embrace these things, incorporate them from our bodies, our souls, our minds, our spirits, our thoughts, our thinking, our behavior. We must be aware that there are holy places around the world, and probably uh, many, many of those that will be found right here before which the Native Americans have, that we need to know about those holy spots that they have. And we need to go there to offer prayer. I understand that Saratoga Springs in New York is one such place. I asked, I understand that uh, uh, the place in West Virginia that uh, they have the springs at, that is another holy place. 
So there are holy places around the world where we can go to meditate and to pray that are around the United States of America. Or you can find a, uh, a park with a, with a big tree, a huge tree, which represents the connection between the earth and, and heaven. And begin to do our present meditations there as we elevate our spirit. There are some very famous places of initiation, of elevation of spirit. These places are places where you go to meditate and you will find that the masters, the evolved, the evolved masters, particularly of our African race, will meet you and greet you. And the other masters of other of the genetic um, groupings in the world will come and meet you to help you to lift yourselves up. All of the evolved ancestors and masters of the different ethnic groups around the world all know each other. And each of them takes responsibility for inspiring, for teaching, and lifting up the members of their genetic material. When we say, when we say the prayer, divine ancestors oversee the evolvement of our race, we acknowledge and salute as highly evolved ancestors and masters who once walked the earth. We're giving acknowledgement to those beings, those entities, who will meet us at the various sacred spaces around the, around the planet and help us to evolve ourselves higher and higher. And I want you just to reflect back on what I told you, the various steps that you experience. You experience um, a rebirth, a receiving of power and energy, a transformation, transfiguration. You will find that your soul and your personality are coming closer together. And then you will be like Dr. King, like Malcolm, like Harry Tubman. You will be immortal. Their names will be on the planet forever. And so shall and so can yours. So I just mentioned that because it's so important that we take out the time. If we're going to become elders, to become more spiritual. To be an elder means to be spiritual. That's what it means. And we need to find places here in the Western Hemisphere that we can go and we can accomplish that. And I just want to mention to you that some of the very famous places or better known places around the world, Mount Kenya, Mount Kilimanjaro, the, uh, the Matapos, and the Himalayas are places where people go to meditate, to connect with God, to connect with their own souls and spirits, to connect to the divine ancestors of their particular race and genetic material, who oversee the involvement of them and their genetic material to raise them up to God. Every particular genetic category of human beings has evolved ancestors who are there to oversee the involvement of them as a group. And so you and I, we've got to do that. We cannot let our time and place and space on earth be in vain. You don't want to leave here the same way you came. I don't want to leave here. I, maybe I can't tell you what you don't want, but I'm telling you we're here to become one with God. And we can find our, our sacred spaces and places um, here uh, in the Americas. We can create them. We can create them in America. The word temple comes from the word temporium, time, where we experience sacred time and sacred space and experience the sacred. However, well-known throughout the world is Mount Kenya, where uh, highly evolved ancestors meet. People who are of the secret orders of Masons, Rosicrucians, those who are members of the secret societies of Africa, India, China, and Japan, of the Native Americas. Many of them will leave their geographical locations and go to these mountains around the world. Mount Kenya is one. Mount Kilimanjaro is another. Um, and the one that, and the Himalayas, of course, we know about them. But there's one that you may not know about that's mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. It's, a, it's the mountain Matapos in present-day Zimbabwe. Very, very important for those people who are Rosicrucians, for those people who are Masons, for those people who are Eastern Stars, for those people who are members of the secret orders and societies of, quote-unquote, um, I hate to use the word tribal, I'll just say traditional Africa, for people who are members of these secret societies, for those who are members of secret societies in South America, wherever they are found, they will go spiritually. Spiritually, they will go to these various mountains. And there, spiritually, they will see um, the various masters who oversee the involvement of the various racial groups 
I hate that word racial, racial groups because it's only one race, <laughs> the human race, but there are various genetic groups and there they will see them and communicate with them. This is something that's done. Oh, I mentioned the Metapos. Why do I mention the Metapos? The Metapos is a place of high spiritual initiation. I hope that I can grow. 76, I hope God will give me enough time, enough years to continue to grow, that I also can go there spiritually. The Metapos is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita is the holy book of the Hindus and those who practice Hindu culture, and to a certain extent, certain aspects of Buddhist culture. The Metapos is found in the Bhagavad Gita, which means the holy people and those who are highly developed in the spiritual world, those who are able to manifest physical bodies and move about. Then uh, there's one such one. Um, uh, what is his name? It'll come to you in a second. But there's one very famous uh, uh, prophet within the southern part of Africa who also had the ability to manifest after death uh, uh, a body, an astral body. So it is in the astral body that we can go there through meditation, and it is in the astral body that the different uh, uh, Isaiah Kibangi, uh, well, pardon me, Simon Kibangi, Simon Kibangi, he is a Bantu prophet. Simon Kibangi was able, after physical death, to manifest his astral body and communicate with his followers. I mention him so you can understand that through meditation, you also can connect with these highly evolved ancestors and masters. And this is what it is about in terms of us becoming elders. I pray for you, you pray for me. I encourage you, I encourage myself that we may meditate, we may pray, we may acknowledge the divine ancestors who oversee the involvement of us as a human race. And we, we, we acknowledge them and we know that the more that we continue to follow them, that we ourselves, that we ourselves should move towards eldership, spirituality, and true leadership of our people and human beings. Oh, what a wonderful plan it is. For those of you who are Christian, you have your prophet who did that. For those of you who are Muslim, you have your prophet that did that. For those of you who are Hindu, you have your prophet that did that. And for those of us who are listening, we can do that through prayer and meditation. So I, I, I encourage you with that. Again, I will, I will say to you that the ultimate aim of the Temple of Inyame, with love and respect for every other religious body and organization, is to assist us to move towards eldership, spirituality, mysticism, high spiritual thought, to communicate with the ancestors and to connect with God and bring about a better condition on the planet Earth. So. Um, I, I will say that God has given us for this particular venture, he's given us the oracles called by many names around the planet. One name that we know for sure is that of Ifa, Afa, Fa. God has given us the Abbasum, the Arisha. He's given us the teachings and traditions of our wise people, our ancestors, our wise women, our wise men, who oversee the involvement of our particular genetic material. So we have what we need, and I ask you, sisters and brothers, by all means, to pray for me, I pray for you. Let us seek as our end point eldership before we leave this planet. This we pray, amen. Okay, I thank you for your, your time and your patience. I hope that this is going well with you. I hope that you take it, I want you to eat on it. I want you to digest it. I want you to ruminate. Ruminate means like a, like a, a cow has two stomachs. One that's right below the throat, in which the cow uses the ground of food called the ruminus, and he spits it back up and then puts it down to his other stomach. So ruminate means to chew it up, spit it back up, think about it, and put it down again. May God bless you as you move towards fellowship. This we pray. Amen. Okay, so what we're going to do this time, I believe that we, we that you've seen our our different uh, our Odu, our different Odus. I believe that you have seen um, the Ajinkra. I just so uh, encourage you, put yourself on the spiritual path. Eldership is about spirituality. 
live above the I chakra, the me chakra. What's in it for me chakra? To the heart chakra, the love chakra, and higher as we become one with God and become elders. Bless us. This we pray, Almighty God. And for those who are interested in Temple of Inyame, text me and let me know. We're going to pro- we're going to provide a curriculum for you in January. My my goal is January, and uh, the goal of that of your membership here will be to give you the guidance that you need to move towards fellowship. May God bless you and keep you. This we pray. So at this time, we're going to do our, our benediction, which you'll see on your screen in a second. Okay, now um, repeat after me. You just read on the screen. I'll, I'll read it slowly for you. May the power, spirit of God, the ancestors, and the deities bless us and keep us until we meet again. Okay. Okay. Before we do the doxology, we're going to sing our song to our ancestors, our Port of Samane. This is giving praise to our male and female ancestors. If I were to write this song, but I didn't, I would have said female and male ancestors. But I, I by all means, I, I honor the man who has given us this song. Okay, here we go. Pora Samane, Pora Mamane, Pora Samane, oh, Pora Samane, oh, ah. One more time. Pora Samane. Pora Mamane. Pora Samane. Pora Samane. Ah. I give praise to my male and female ancestors, to my female and male ancestors. And I humble myself, I prostrate myself in front of them as they guide me in my life. Yes, I pray. Amen. Okay, our doxology. And uh, our benediction is what we receive from God. Our doxology is what we send to God. Okay, so we send our praises to God. Repeat after me. Praise God that good be everywhere. Praise to the collective ancestors that we all may share. The forces that guide you and me. Praise to the message of truth and liberation that will set us free. Almighty God, bless us and keep us in health, soul, mind, and spirit. Bless us until we meet each other again. And we ask that you all will share this particular broadcast this morning with uh, friends, relatives, etc. And encourage and invite those in your in your circle to tune in next week. Well, next week, next week is going to be our healing meditation. So come next week prepared. Bring your prayer beads, bring your prayer rug. Come prepared to meditate and pray and be healed. And may we heal ourselves and heal the world. Bless us and keep us. Thank you for joining us today. This we pray. Amen.